everyone and welcome to day number 17 of the LEGO Star Wars Advent Calendar Unboxing. Now yesterday we received Director Krennic's Imperial Shuttle, which you guys voted for in the awesome pile. And I have to agree it is one of the better uh, miniships we have received. However, we do have a slight problem with it, other than the fact that it doesn't focus very well on the camera. Uh, yeah, as you can see, you can't actually stand it up, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's not a ship you can easily display because of how the wings work, they don't fold up or anything, that's as far as they go, so kind of looks silly if you put it like that, but I don't know, all I do know is that it will be joining this pile here where there have been more developments. As you can see the Snowtrooper has now set his allegiances to Lieutenant Spontaneous so he is gaining more and more power as these days continue. However, he's about to get wiped out by the door because number 17 is right here. So let's open this box and kill everyone in sight and see what we have. So we have what is clearly a minifigure. Ooh. Oh, please say it's Krennic. Please say it's Krennic. Come on, be Krennic. It doesn't look like Krennic. Who is it? I don't know. I guess we'll have to find out after the speed build. So here we have an Imperial officer with some of the sickest sideburns you will ever see in your entire lifetime. No joke, this, this guy is like, ladies, look what I've got. Impressed? Call me. Call me on the... Uh, you, you can page me. I, I guess you wouldn't page in Star Wars. I guess you'd do... Hol use your uh, holographic projection. Yeah. Call me. Uh, nonetheless, uh, let's stop talking about dating in Star Wars. And look at his lovely detailing. As you can see, he's got some front detailing there. He has some back detailing as well. He has some creases. Might need to iron that, you could say. He doesn't have uh, a double face, you know, you sometimes minifigures come with two faces. And that's basically because his, his hat is too short. Therefore, you just see like this grin at the back and it look kind of strange. But nonetheless, I will show you what his face looks like in the flesh. Or in the plastic. And yeah, I mean... Sideburns, what more do you want? He has sideburns going to a bald head. I like that look, it's bold, it's dangerous, it's risky. Uh, but yeah, he has a couple scars as well, so clearly he's been attacked by a bear. And he also comes with a blaster for all your blaster needs. And yeah, that's the minifigure. Put his... I accidentally just put his cap on backwards. So therefore he can't see now, but he looks super cool. So yeah, I'm pretty much... Uh, stand up. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty much... It's pretty much guaranteed that he'll go in the awesome pile because he's a minifigure, he's good, that's how that works. But let me know what you think by voting in the card poll on screen now. Is he awesome? Is he meh? Or is he worth the, the awful pile? You know what? I'm going to start calling it the Psy Pile. Not, you know, naming it after the guy that wrote Gangnam Style. No, that's a completely different Psy Pile. This is S-I-G-H. For, you know, when you look at it, you just want to go... <sighs> Someone should actually do a count a tally of how many size I have made in this series. It's probably more than two. So yeah, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode and until box number 18, day number 18, 18, 18, 18, 18, 18's all around. Um, yeah, until then we'll find out, you know, what's, what's lying behind there and it should be exciting and all that stuff. So yeah, thanks for watching everyone and until next time, goodbye.